Hey, 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 how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's been one of those weeks or days or whatever, you know, when it feels stressy, excited and stressy all at the same time. And today, just to kind of, you know, add insult to injury, I decided I was going to completely, oh my gosh. Okay, I have this like, I have like 4,000 pieces of content all stored in a particular um, service called Meet Edgar, okay? Now this helps me with getting, keeping, in, keeping on top of my social media stuff and all of that stuff. And so, and 4,000 pieces all split into different categories. And somehow, this morning, I managed to mix it all up, to get it all mixed up and crazy. 4,000 pieces of content. 4,000 pieces of content. <laughs> all mixed up, all f messed around. <laughs> so yes, I felt stressed <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Still feel a little bit stressed. It's probably something I'm going to be, me and my team are going to be sorting out for the next, who knows how long, <laughs> basically. But it was like, okay, so how much time am I, am I going to allocate to doing that today? And how much time am I going to allocate to it another day? And so, yes, I was feeling a bit stressed. Does anything like that ever happen to you guys? Does anything like that ever happen to you guys? Where you, you make a mistake or, oh, it's just been stressy. Some of you all have, have children home this week. How's that been? <laughs> Basically, if you're in the UK, how is that going for you? For some of you, it's fine. For some of you, it's a little bit like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Anyway, yes, this is the Church of Iron Can. This is Jordan Mary Nolly Knight. So as much as I'm sharing my stressed out thing, I also want to try and inspire you. Because yes, even I need that today. I need it today because today, oh my gosh, between my daughters leaving their computers and phones in random places over the last few days, and today me making this mistake, it was a little bit like, oh my gosh. <sighs> so I'm gonna tell you what I do to try and get myself out of it, okay? But in the meantime, I'm gonna share this, so give me a second, I'll be back in a sec, okay? Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, and I'm just gonna start with this because I need it. <laughs> I can handle it. I am capable. I it's actually the other way around, isn't it? <laughs> I'm having one of those mornings. I am capable. my affirmation for this morning, okay? I probably need it more than you guys do, but <laughs> I will sing it enough until it becomes my reality because yes, as I said, I'm having one of those mornings. 4,000 pieces of content that I now need to sort out. <sighs> I am feeling stressed. So what did I do? What do I do? What do I do? First thing I have to do is acknowledge the feeling, okay? So yes, I could come on here or I could just pretend to myself that I'm being all positive and all wonderful, which, okay, yes, I am being all positive because what's the point? I could start crying, but yeah, how does that help anything? So, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm better off having a conversation with all of y'all, basically. I'm better off having a conversation with all of you because yes, things happen sometimes. Mistakes get made, children do crazy stuff, partners do crazy stuff, life is happening all around you, people are accusing you of all kinds of crazy stuff. All of this, everything, 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 everything can come at you all at once and you can feel, you can feel really stressed out at times, right? But this is it. You also, you still have something that you want to do, right? And so I still have things that I need to do today. So yes, I acknowledge the feeling of being stressed out. Yes, I own it because there's no point pretending it's not there. It is there. I do feel stressed, okay? I feel a little bit anxious. So, oh my gosh, I need to sort all this stuff out. <sighs> So I acknowledge the feeling. I feel it. Let it be. No point fighting it. Let it be. But then instead of allowing it to overwhelm me, instead of allowing it to be the thing that determines what I do next, I have to keep my eye on the prize. What is it that I'm, what is it that I'm, that I need to take action for? For me, Project 334K. That is the thing that it always keeps coming back to. It always keeps coming back to. Every, I keep thinking, okay, you know what? I still feel called to 334,000 people to help them live free lives, 
financially, relationally, sexually, spiritually, all of that stuff, it is still my big reason why. So yes, there are days when it's, it feels as though there are things on top, on, on top of things, on top of things that just seem to be coming at you so quickly and it's like, oh my gosh, what do I do? I'm, I'm stressed. But then I don't allow that to stop me because I remember my why. So yes, I feel the feeling at times. Sometimes I can't shed it that quickly. So I feel it, but I remember why I keep moving forward. I remember why I must keep moving forward anyway. I remember that, <laughs> and this is my affirmation for today. I am capable. I can handle it. I am capable of handling anything that comes my way. So I am capable of handling it. So yes, I'm made an error of what feels like epic proportions <laughs> but i am capable of handling it it is what it is right now but how do i handle it going forward okay so yes i'm capable of handling it i am capable of handling whatever comes my way truth be told so yes and that's the other thing actually because yeah i'm a wonderful spiritual person there is, there is a part of me that knows that nothing comes my way that isn't in some way part of my story nothing is wasted okay Yes, it's frustrating in the moment. And in the moment, you can suddenly start to think, what the heck is this about, <laughs> basically? But you know what? I can handle it. I am capable. I acknowledge the feeling. I acknowledge the fact that I feel crazy and stressed, but I remember why I must keep moving forward anyway. I remember why I must keep moving forward anyway. I will not allow a feeling to defeat me. Because it is just a feeling. It's a very temporary thing. Okay, it is whatever is happening to you right now is very temporary. You could make it permanent by deciding, oh my gosh, that's the final straw. I'm done. <laughs> but how does that help anything? If you're anything like me, you'll be back here again. <laughs> Soon enough, wondering why didn't I just carry on? <laughs> so why not just carry on? So why not? So for me, yeah, acknowledge the feeling. Remember why I'm doing what I'm doing. Also, the other thing about being stressed out that I've discovered, not just for myself, but also for clients, is that sometimes you've made that error or you've, you are stressed out because you're holding back from doing something that you know you need to be doing. Okay, that's not my situation right now, but as I was thinking about this live stream, that, that just kind of popped up for me, it kind of came up, and I thought I needed to mention it to you guys, that sometimes the reason why you're feeling stressed is because you're holding yourself back from doing something you know you need to be doing. Maybe you need to be telling people more about your product or service or whatever, but you're not telling them because you're a bit afraid or whatever, and so you're holding back from telling them, so you're not getting the results that you want, so you're getting stressed out, but you're really stressed out because you know you're not doing what needs to be done. So this is an encouragement to face the feeling. Face the feeling. Again, we're going back to acknowledging the feeling. Acknowledge the feeling because it may be more than just what is presenting to, it, to you right now, if that makes any sense. And if it, is, if it does make sense for you, then it probably is because you are kind of avoiding making a decision or doing something you know you need to do. And so yes, your stress levels are increasing because you keep trying to avoid something. What is it for you? I wrote a post this morning about the unquestioned life. If you choose to live a life where you are not questioning what is coming your way, or you are not questioning yourself, <laughs> because sometimes we delude ourselves more than anybody else could, sometimes. So if we are not questioning what is going on, so we're acknowledging the feeling, but we're also questioning, is it something that I am doing right now? Okay, yes, for me, right now with my 4,000 pieces of content, I know what I did. <laughs> but for you, it might be a little bit hidden. Hey, Reginald, how you doing? <laughs> Lovely to have you on here, honey. And yes, that's true, I forgot to say, guys, tell me who you are, tell me where you're streaming from. Tell me where you're streaming from, I wanna know, I wanna, wanna, wanna know. This is the Church of RNK, so yes, it's immense, absolutely acceptable, not just listening to me, engage with me, come on. Yeah, I'm making you, making you. <laughs> but this is it. Are you avoiding something? Because that will add to your stress levels, okay? And we all do it sometimes where we realize there's something that we don't want to do, we don't want to face. And you know what? I can actually, even as I said that, I can suddenly think, well, oh, am I avoiding doing that other thing? Hence the fact now I've created this situation where I have all of this stuff to handle, which takes me away from this other thing that is scaring me a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> It's quite possible. <laughs> 
but it's only as I yeah as I stop take a second to stop and check myself stop and check myself are you just avoiding what needs to be done right now and so yes your stress your your subconscious knows you're trying to avoid it and so yeah your stress levels will increase you will feel overwhelmed and stressed out and everything and you feel like you're not moving forward because you're not doing what you know you need to do next so which leads me to my next point which is that you do ask yourself the question what is the next thing i need to do if i wasn't well if i was if i wasn't allowing myself to feel all stressed out and crazy what is the next thing i need to do let's sing the affirmation again here i am capable i can I can handle it. I am capable of handling anything that comes my way. Let that be your affirmation today. So when you're feeling all stressed out, when you're feeling all overwhelmed, when you're not sure what to do next, recognize you do know. You do know what to do next. Yes, it may take, it may take you, you know, taking a breath, going to a quiet place, thinking a, a quiet thought and asking yourself, what is the next thing to do here? What will take me out of this immediate feeling of crazy stress? Because this is the thing, if you do not do something, you will only feel worse because you haven't done the things that you need to do. And so you'll wake up tomorrow or whatever, and you'll still have this weight all around you of all the things you should have done yesterday, basically. And it's like, just do them. Guys, say hello, say hello, say hello, say hello, say hello. Say hello, I want to hear from you guys. But... Yes, <laughs> do something, that is the final thing. When it comes down to it, you've got to keep doing the work, regardless of how you feel, regardless of anything. Okay, yes, there'll be some times when you actually need to take a break, but not every day, <laughs> not every day, okay? Sometimes people use that, oh, you know, I was just really not up to it. Yeah, but you said that every day for the last seven days, man, or for the last month, when will you be up to it? Because all you're doing is loading more and more stress and overwhelm on yourself if you keep not doing what needs to be done. You know, you know, you know, and I remind you guys of this all the time, that you're born for more. You know that there is something that you are on this planet right now to do. You know you have a vision, something you want your life to be about. There will always be stuff. There will always be drama. There will always be a reason to feel stressed out or overwhelmed or crazy. There will always be that. That isn't going anywhere. The only thing that gets to determine your life is you, honey. You. You. Especially if you're listening to me right now, okay? So yes, you could say to yourself, well, if you lived in my country and, you know, whatever, because I was watching a program yesterday, I think it was The Human Planet, where there were lots of people all looking for the same kind of fish. And you know what? I did find myself looking at them and thinking, oh Lord, oh Lord, it would feel so hard because they were all, it was like this whole crowd of people that was, pro I, I can't even tell you how many, I think it was in an African country somewhere where they were all waiting for the, to be allowed to go and get food from the same, I think they could go and get fish from the same pond or something. I don't even know. And they all had these baskets and they all had to go in very quickly and everybody had to as well, like push shove because there wasn't enough food in that region. And I see things like that. And occasionally I find myself thinking that those people may not have as much choice. In fact, I know they don't have as much choice as I do. But I do know that each one of us, as we wake up, we the ones, especially you guys watching me, if you are watching me, you are not that person. You do have choice. And we must, I, don't, I never wanna make people feel guilty. That's never the goal here. You are blessed, you are blessed, you are, it doesn't matter, that is not something to feel guilty or horrible about. But let us, let us not take it for granted. And then we get these feelings of being stressed out, we get these feelings of being overwhelmed, and we allow these feelings to say that we cannot do anything. We can. We can always do something. 
We can always change something. And in us doing that, it, it takes us so much closer to living that life of significance and purpose. And it takes us so much closer to impacting somebody positively. Who may then go on to impact somebody else positively? Who may then go on to impact somebody else positively until finally all those people I was watching on Human Planet don't have to rush into some river somewhere to try and to get one fish for their family of 10, basically, because all of us have finally woken up to the fact that we do not need to live just to our emotions. Our emotions are a good thing. They're not a bad thing. But if we allow that to determine whether we do the work that we're here to do or not, then it becomes a bad thing. We allow it to control us. We are the ones in control. That's why I say remember your why. I don't care how big or small you think your why is. It may just be that you are able to... It's like when I started, my only why was to be home with my kids. I wanted something that would give me the flexibility to be home with my kids. That was all. That was all. That was my big why. So when I wanted to quit, I just looked them in the eye and think, I cannot go to work today. I have to make this work. And so I kept doing what I needed to do until it worked. And then my why got bigger. It suddenly became about 334,000. I mean, it's always been about a lot of people because that's why I even started the blog. And in the first place, it was always like, okay, well, when I make this business work, I want, to, I want people to see that if I can do it, and man, I am the most normal person, that anybody can do it. And so the why has always been there, but my first initial why, it would feel small to me now, was simply to be home with my kids and watch them grow up and impact them for good and home educate them, all of that stuff. That was my why. That was my big reason. But now my big reasons got bigger. Same with you. I just think that when you start to do the work that you are here to do, whatever it is, once you are free enough to do that work, you will impact the world just by being you. That is what Project 334K is about, okay? Just to enable you guys to live the life that you are born to live, whatever that looks like, to free you as much as possible from anything that holds you back from that. And even if that thing that holds you back is you, then I will tell you. <laughs> I will tell you so that you wake up to the fact that you don't have to give in to stress or fear or anxiety or overwhelm or any of that stuff. Those feelings will be there, but you don't have to let them determine whether you do the work or not. You can still do the work regardless of how you feel. I am capable. I <laughs> I think everything will change definitely for today guys for today hi Mike <laughs> lovely to have you on here I'm sure you're doing well as well I am capable I can handle it I am capable of handling anything that comes my Okay, guys, so that's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, you feel stressed out. Acknowledge that. I get it. We all, I do. I, right now, or well, right now, I'm not feeling as bad as I was. <laughs> that's why I did the work. <laughs> but <laughs> acknowledge the feeling. Remember why you're doing what you need, what needs to be done. Remember why you cannot allow those feelings to stop you. Remember your why. And if you don't have one, take a moment right now to pop out your journal, just like I have mine right in front of me right here. Pop out your journal and write down your why. Why will you show up today? Why will you do what needs to be done next? Are you avoiding something? If you are avoiding doing a certain thing, acknowledge it. Just do it. It's simpler to do it than to allow these feelings of overwhelm and stress to keep coming at you. Just do it. Whatever you're avoiding, make a decision that you're just going to do it because it's taking you longer to worry about it than just to do it. Okay? And then what is the next thing to do? So if it's not something that you're avoiding, what is the next thing to do? Even if you're in the middle of feeling all crazy and stressed out, what is the next thing? What is the best thing I can do next? That is the question to keep asking yourself. What is the best thing I can do next to take me towards my goals? What is the best thing I can do next to take me towards my goals? And then, honeys, 
Just do the work regardless of how you feel. The work will save you, okay? The work will save you. I cannot tell you how many times I simply come on and do something like this to communicate with you guys, just to inspire somebody else. And in, in return, I get inspired. I know that now that I've done this, I'm going to go back to my work and I'm going to be a lot more productive. Why? Because I did not allow my feelings to determine whether I did what needed to be done today. Okay? Or what that deter to determine what I needed to do next. That's all. Just the next thing. Just do the next thing because the next thing will lead into the next thing after that. <laughs> but do the next thing. Don't allow your feelings to stop you. Yes, we all feel stressed out, but remember... There is a call on your life. Remember, there's a vision you want to live out. Remember, you get limited time, okay? I'm not telling you that to stress you out some more. I'm telling you that because I know that you want it all. And I also know that you can have it if you will just do the work consistently, regardless of how you feel. You will just do the work and work out all the internal stuff as you are doing the external work, okay? Okay, one last time and I'll bring this to a close. I am capable, I can handle it. I am capable of handling anything that comes my way. And on that note, guys, let me make the invitation as all to come and join me in the Deliberate Millionaire Fast Track Club if you would like a lot more um, individualized um, attention on what is going on with you then the Deliberate Millionaire Fast Track Club is absolutely the place to be I'm trying to restart my business but confused because this time I have very limited finance oh yes lots of people start businesses with limited finance there is always a way I don't say it's an easy way but there is always a way for one let me give you very quick uh, something here for one start building an audience use social media honey use social media as a definite way to start building an audience around what you have to say you will have to be a lot more confident than you ever have been before so that you can start to call people into your world so communicate capture capture them into your world to start, build an audience around the, the solution you want to provide to them and then finally start telling them about how you can help them so if you don't have the finance then use the tools that are available to you right now social media is one of those tools okay social media is one of those tools that you can use anybody can use to start to get in front of people okay we are blessed to live in this day and time or day and age so take advantage of social media to get in front of more people get over any fears because a lot of people have a lot of fear around this get over that and start to tell people how you can help them find out where your people are go be there start telling them about how you can help them okay yes if you want some more specific strategy and all of that stuff come into the deliberate millionaire fast track club and i can help you but really if everybody just started to do little things like yeah using social media basically to actually get your your message out to the people that you want to speak to you will be surprised about i'm not saying it's going to be easy okay so please nobody think that you're just going to put yourself out once and then everything will suddenly be sorted I don't think anybody does think that, but <laughs> at the same time, start. We have access to incredible tools that you can start to use right now, okay? So yes, Mike, um, start to communicate with people about what you're up to. Be everywhere, wherever they are. Start telling them how you can help them. Start inviting them into your world so that you can start sending them emails or, or you start sending them newsletters or whatever and then start telling them how, what they need to buy, okay? What they can buy from you, how you can serve them. So tell them, how can I serve you? This is how I can serve you. This is how much it costs, basically. And that is kind of the, the very quick version of how you can do it, even without money, okay? There's lots of things you can do even without that much money. Okay, on that note, guys, remember you are capable. You can handle whatever comes your way. Come into the Deliberate Millionaire Fast Track Club. The three, three, four thousand are gathering there where we are all choosing to live a life of freedom, choosing to live, a, yeah, to live a life of freedom, including financial freedom, as well as other areas of our life, for sure. Come and join in. I'd love to be in there helping people with their specific business concerns, their specific life concerns in that club. So come and join us, okay? It's rosemaryloneunite.com forward slash DM fast track. Until the next time, remember you can handle it, whatever comes your way, okay? Much love. It's time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you were born to live. Thank you for being here. Because you want to, I'll see you next time. Share, 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 share as well, guys. Share it. Thank you. Okay, then. Bye.